What's up, guys? Uh, big shout out to Adri for asking this question. It's a really good question, so I appreciate you asking it. A uh, little bit about how long I've been doing art for. I would say that I've seriously allowed myself to express my mind through artistic capabilities and abilities for a total of almost two years now. Before that, I really didn't do any form of visual art. I wouldn't draw, I wouldn't sketch, I wouldn't doodle as much as I do now. When I was a younger kid, I do remember doing it in school a lot. I would do it in school, but they were just small, simple doodles. They weren't really any any real intention behind it uh, other than just draw something. But now I notice that I am capable of utilizing art as a form of expression. And thanks to that form of expression, I can show myself what I have going on within my mind and put it on a canvas or putting, putting it on a piece of paper, which serves me in such a fascinating way because as humans, we're trying to understand what's going on around us, what's the whole purpose of our existence and the point of absolutely every single breath that we take. So being that that's the case, since I started to come more in contact with my artistic side and finding value in artistic expression, I was able to show myself what my mind looks like in most cases. And it's an extremely rewarding feeling once you think about it. Because, again, we're trying to understand and get a grip of what reality is. So while we're trying to understand and putting all these ideas together, art helps us enormously, enormously to do that. So the answer is two years. I've been doing this for two years. In August of last year, I started my merchandising company, Jester Sedano. And through that, I've been able to share my art with people and with the world that weirdly enough, now I'm not wearing any of my merch. I'm, I'm currently wearing an Attila shirt. Uh, they, they released this shirt whenever their song 3-6 came out and it's a limited edition. So it's got it's it's got a year or some of time it's got these holes in it too which is really cool but um i'm usually rocking my merch but sometimes i like to support other creators that have really helped me out a lot and that have granted me the motivation enough to start my own entrepreneurial projects so big shout out to christopher franzak to franzilla the lead vocalist for Attila, just for inspiring that entrepreneur within me. And just, dude, his saying in one of his songs says it all, you can do whatever you want in life. Just don't be a fucking bitch. <laughs> just don't back down. Don't be a bitch to people. Don't be mean. Don't be mean to yourself or to others. Just stay true to a true way of being, a way of being that doesn't include of any masks or having to hide behind something you're not. Just be true, man. As truest as you are, the better it will go. Be true to your mind when your mind is asking for change, is asking for artistic expression. Be true to your mind in that sense. Allow your mind to express what it wants to show. Because if not, We'll just rot away in nothingness if we don't allow ourselves to express. I think that's good enough for a response. So I can just show some art pieces that I've done. This is my kaleidoscopic view. It depicts the subconscious self and the subconscious view and it's a portal of entry into the world. We enter through that center and we leave through it. So consider that. Then we have um, what would happen to be a representation of the Eye of Horus or the Eye of Ra. Art done by a beloved friend of mine that depicted 
what I am in my energetic state. And then here on my desk, I have some other art pieces. But those are just a quick sneak peek. My heartfelt heart. I was looking at my bottle in class today and just thinking, I'm so happy I created this because it just sits there. It sits there and it looks at me in class and I can be having not the worst thoughts, but just sometimes negative thoughts because we tend to do that. I could be having those thoughts, but I just look at that heart and I think, <laughs> it's just looking and smiling. So it gives me a sense of happiness. Well, I've been wanting to do this for a while, just talk to a camera and share some information, share it on social media, because that's what we need to do as humans in this era, share information for others to be able to intake that information and utilize it as their own to help them. We're here to help one another and bump ideas on one another. Just, what do you got to think today? Well, I got this to think today, and it's helping me get through this sort of moment. Well, I'm actually going through something similar, so I appreciate you sharing this, because now I can see things with a different scope. And thanks to that different scope, my huge ball of problems doesn't seem as bad anymore. Now it's just a lot smaller knowing that there's other minds out there that are encountering the same thoughts going through the same human mundane problems that we have we'll be far away from here someday but for now this is what we must experience reality as they call it I appreciate you tuning in I appreciate you watching this if you would like me to talk about anything else, I know that this was a very general rant, but I think it's a good starting point to start putting content out there, as I told myself. One big thing that I did was record music. I've always wanted to record my own music, so I took the initiative and I started doing so. So there will be projects coming soon where I will be sharing my creations with the world, with all the other happy jesters out there. So took initiative with that. Now I'm taking initiative with just taking the time to talk in front of a phone, an inanimate object that records the things that I'm saying. Talk, express, share, allow your mind to just let it all out. Possibly help someone that's on the other side. So if you are on the other side and you are indeed watching this right now, just send me a recommendation of something you would like me to talk about if you enjoy the way that I can function when it comes to putting a message out there. Because sometimes for people it can be hard to actually convey a message or share a point of view. So if you consider that uh, I, I have a good capability of doing so, I personally consider that I, that I do. Um, if you consider that as well and you would like me to talk about something that would help you and benefit you, it would definitely be benefiting me as well because I'm helping others and I'm also probably thinking of topics that I don't really focus 100% my time on um, or just things of interest that I never really stopped and thought about or processed. Um, so you're also helping me be able to analyze different things from different perspectives <sighs> this is a good start and it is also a good ending so thank you very much for tuning into Jester Sedano's first talk video I'll be definitely posting more of these talk videos and it all started thanks to one person that asked me a question on my Instagram Feel free to follow my Instagram as well. Uh, it's at the Jester's Art. So you'd be able to find me at the Jester's Art. And 
feel free to check out my art. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family, with your loved ones, with your dog, with your cat, with your whatever animal uh, you are close to. Um, if you're with a frog, that's also really cool because frogs are awesome. They contain 5-methyl-DMT, uh, uh, 5-MeO-DMT, the Bufo Salvarius Toad. And now I'm just going on a rant about other things that you're probably going to hear about in other videos. So that's a good way to end with an error in my words and suspense because now I gotta fix it and I gotta talk about things that are probably interesting to many people. Cool, nice rant. All right, let's do a, let's do a flippity flip. We did the flip. Let's do the self-branding just one more time. <laughs> and we will be able to end this. Thank you very much for tuning in. Happy Jesters. Have a wonderful night.